Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you the integration of Gateway to Jupyter Lab. So I have my Jupyter Lab open here and once you are uh, once you have this window on, you can go to your extensions and look for this um, extension uh, that says Jupyter Lab slash git and you can install that. So once you click this uh, there's a quick documentation. So there, these are the requirements for this. So you need to have a git which, with version greater than or equal to 2 and Jupyter Lab version greater than or equal to 3. So to install this, so that, uh, you can go to your command line and type this command or this. And then you can uh, build your Jupyter Lab. I've already done this on my computer. So, after you do that, uh, you should be able to see this uh, tab here and this tab too. So, let's go through how we can use Git within the Jupyter Lab. So, at first, let's create a new folder. Um, let's say demo Git. Inside the folder, we can create a new. Um, let's create a new notebook file. Let's rename this. Let's let's say demo file, and we can just let's say import. Let's say import pandas spd print hello. Now, what you can do is go to your git and initialize this repository. Do yes. Now, uh, what you need to do is go to your GitHub and let's say this is my GitHub account and let's say I'm going to create a new repository head and say demo git. And I'm just gonna create a new repository. Now I have created a new repository, so I'm gonna add this repository. So I can, I'm gonna copy that link and I'm gonna go back to my file and I'm gonna add remote repository. So I'm gonna put this, put that link into this and Add. So now I've added it. Now I can see uh, I changes here. So let's say I'm gonna now commit my uh, changes and push to the remote. So I'm just gonna add. So I'm gonna first save this and add this. So this stays for a change now. After of that, I can let's say. Just gonna type initial commit. Commit. I'm gonna type in name click here. So my changes are committed now, and now I can push this these changes to my remote repository to make it up account. So I pushed this, so it says successfully pushed. Now I can reload this page. You can see my demo file here. And it has all well, everything I had in my file. After that, let's say uh, let's make any changes. Let's say import numpy as np. Now I can save this. So if you see uh, just it's changed here so I can go to this and see what are the changes and let's say let's say I want to commit this changes again so I'm gonna stage this for change and let's say new commit and I'm commit this and now I 
I can go to my get and I can push to remove. So going back to the repository, so I can go here and click this again. So you can see my changes here now. Let's say now I want to work with an existing repository. So for that, I can uh, let's say let's let me go back to my folder first, and what I can do is I can clone a repository and then type my link here, and then clone into that repository and work with that. So for that, uh, let me try this repository here. So I'm going to copy this link and clone this. So, oh yeah. So now I have cloned this. So I should be able to see this folder here now name of the repository, this is the name of the repository I have, so that's the folder I, that's been created. So I'm into the folder, inside the folder now, let me uh, close this. Now what I can do is, let's say I want to create a new uh, file. So I can just say print hello world. And this. Uh, let me uh, rename this to test. Now I can go to my uh, Git tab here, so you can see untracked files here. So this is the file that I, cr I just created. So I can stay track this file. So let me first save this file. Now, yeah, I just save this file. And you can see it's been changed and staged. Now let's say new commit, and I can commit this file. Uh, let me type in name again here. Is committing so the changes has been committed. Um, now I can go to my git and do push to remote. So uh, now I've successfully pushed. So now I can reload this page. You can see test with the new commit print print hello world. Yeah. So now I know that my file, my commit has been successful and it's been pushed to my remote repository. Now let's say I want to create a new branch and work uh, inside that branch instead of working in the main branch. So for that, you can go back to my Jupyter lab and create a new branch. Let's say I will name this Rochelle. That's my name. And create branch oh so Rochelle is not valid branch so I think it's a space so yeah okay Rishab has been created here and now I'm inside this branch so it's a switch, switching branch here and I can go back to the main branch and yeah I can do back and forth here now what I can do is Create a new file, or let's say I, I just want to um, edit this. Print hello again. So I can save this. Also, so yeah, you can see it's been changed here. Now you can stage it for a comment. Similarly, <coughs> You can create a new notebook file and just select a kernel and say import imports and import and as, as pd. So now I'm gonna save this file.
file so I can see this this has been created here you can just rename it new file <coughs> I can save this now I can um, see it's been uncracked here so I can stage this for change and now I can commit this new commit again Get tab here and push to remote. So it's been successfully pushed. So I can go go back here and refresh this. Oh, let me just go to the so you can see the update here itself has recent pushes less than a minute ago. And I can just go and compare and do a pull request. You can see the new branch here, Rishal. A new file here, test new file which we don't have in the main. Now going back here, what I can do is I can just go to my main branch again, main branch here, and you can just do merge branch and merge we shall have here and merge. Before that we we definitely want to compare and do a pull request. So let's just say new commit and create pull request. So, <clears throat> yeah, we can just do a merge, check our new changes and do merge pull request. Or we can, yeah, do the same thing from here. Yeah, that's all how to, this is all like basic uh, thing that you can work in, in JupyterLab with your GitHub. Yeah, that's all for today. Thank you.